Welcome back to the channel. We are heading down I-90 to Chicago and O'Hare International Airport. The new BP Pulse 40 stall Gigahub location in Des Plaines just off the airport property. I'm heading down there because there's nothing like this in Wisconsin. It's also one cent per kilowatt hour, the test day right before the grand opening. Now, a couple notes, the Tritium uh, PKM 150s, they split power 75 kilowatt max when two cars are plugged in. So if you can avoid sharing one of those, probably a better idea. Uh, the Alpitronic HYC 400s are mostly not under the canopies. Um, so what you'll gain in charging power, you lose the lid on top of you, I guess. Um, so at least right now, best charging experience, probably from the HYC 400s. The time of use pricing right now, 42 to 52 cents per kilowatt hour, a lot better to pay one cent. Here we go. Let's get charging. All right. Welcome to Greater O'Hare in Des Plaines, Illinois. Uh, we're here at the BP Pulse uh, one cent uh, per kilowatt hour deal. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to fill up um, as much as we can. Uh, it is winter and it is freaking cold. So uh, yeah, let's plug in. Uh, let's get our app out since everybody knows I like apps. What number are we on here? 26. 1043. So there's so many, you got to make sure that you're, uh, you got the right one. One cent per kilowatt hour. I'm curious what the taxes are going to be. So this is a 150 uh, KW station uh, from Tritium. There are some uh, Alpitronic hyperchargers here as well, uh, down at the other end. We're kind of at the, the far end of uh, this event. There's all sorts of uh, um, crowds and people from BP Pulse here that uh, I'll, I'll show you some video of. All right, so we're at 42%. And uh, let's see what's right up over 100 at 106. Um, so, um, I'm going to go thumbs up. Our battery was preconditioned and knew we were coming here and it knew that the, the station was a charger. Um, so, uh, stopped at the Tesla supercharger, which has over 50 stalls, um, basically right across the parking lot. And, um, yeah, I mean, so 90 plus stalls. There's actually a couple other ones across the street at the hotel there. Um, so almost a hundred charging stalls, um, you know, within this block um, is pretty cool. So yeah, going right off uh, 108 now up to, so uh, let's start there. Uh, expected speed, thumbs up. Um, over 100 at 40 something, 43% is great. Paying one cent for it is also great. Um, so yeah, um, if there was an indoor, the only thing I would uh, request uh, would be an indoor place because it's like 40 degrees with a 30 mile an hour wind. So it feels like it's 25. Um, and I, you know, dressing like a teenager, didn't bring a winter jacket with me. So, but. My vest is heated, so we'll, we'll keep that going. Um, yeah, so amenities. Uh, we've got uh, Popeyes across the parking lot. There's a Dunkin' Donuts. There's, uh, you know, the gas stations right here, so you can get soda and coffee and candy bar or whatever. So this is a good amenities stop. I think there's a uh, McDonald's right down the block, too. So lots of stuff for you to do, lots of places to eat, uh, bathrooms. So... Um, definitely a thumbs up for amenities at this spot. Um, minimal hassle. So it wasn't as easy, the, the route that the car took me wasn't as easy as I would have liked to get off the highway um, because 
I-90 is right on the other side of the camera. Um, so you wish you could just kind of like, you know, kind of like taking a step, you'd be right here. But uh, so that's really the biggest hassle, but it, it was pretty minimal. So I'm gonna go thumbs up for minimal hassle. There are so many stations here that uh, you shouldn't have a problem getting one um, when you stop through here to charge. If you're picking somebody up at the airport uh, here at O'Hare, or uh, you know, sometimes it's a lot easier to fly out of O'Hare going to like uh, smaller destinations than it would be to fly out of Madison or even from Milwaukee, you probably would take a flight from Milwaukee to O'Hare to pick up a United flight to go somewhere else. So, um, yeah, uh, so there, there are definitely reasons to come down here and, uh, and uh, charge up. So, oh, Nana Cable. So these, uh, these are very thick, um, but the handles are nice. Um, and, uh, you know, the cables are movable. It's, uh, you know, not the middle of winter, it's early December or mid December, I guess now catch up with the uh, calendar, but, um, yeah, I think, uh, this is a, this is a workable station for, for all. So thumbs up for Nana cable as well. So four, four good thumbs up. Um, never been to a station that's this big before with 40, 40 stalls. So, um, it's uh, definitely worthwhile to come down and see if you're a, you know, EV charging geek. Um, you know, this is kind of a neat little setup they've got here. Um, canopy overhead. So while it is raining, uh, thankfully it's not snowing. Uh, it is raining. You're, you know, pretty dry here um, with the well lit canopy. There's, you know, looks like there's some Wi-Fi and some security cameras um, about. So, um, yeah. Definitely feel safe and uh, feel like this is a pretty good spot to charge. So it's definitely one that uh, I would I would use again. So um, yeah, definitely recommend it. So let's take a quick peek around. Lots of equipment over here to make this 40 stall station run. Right outside of O'Hare. And uh, there is a, also a little bit of space here. You've got uh, your pooch in the car with you. A little bit of space here. You could take them out for a little, little time out while you charge up. So here at the uh, Des Plaines uh, Giga Hub, there are six Alpatronic hyperchargers, um, each with two cables. There are four NAX cables, or four NAX uh, char hyperchargers with two NAX cables each. And then there are two that have uh, CCS. So four, um, four CCS cables on two Alpatronic hyperchargers. Um, which will give you a lot more power, obviously, than you can get on the 150 um, kilowatt tritium units, but there's a lot more of them in the, uh, in the parking lot. Well, we're at 87% pulling 40, but at one cent kilowatt hour and uh, plenty of space available, uh, we're gonna just keep going. So another amenity that we've got here, Wi-Fi. Connect. So if you're here for a long charge, you should be good. 90% and nobody waiting. I'm gonna keep going. We are 99%. The 
car says 100, but we're still tapping in there at 15 kilowatts. So normally would I do that, uh, fill up to 100% here? No, not, I wouldn't do it. I'd do it to 80 and uh, call it good. But for one cent per kilowatt hour, uh, I wasn't going to say no. The largest station in Wisconsin right now is 16 stalls. The Iona in Janesville has 16 stalls. That's been open for a couple of months now. And the uh, Tesla supercharger at High V uh, in Fitchburg has 16 stalls. It's a Tesla only location, so um, I can't use that, but I have used the Iona, Iona station. And now I have uh, charged up here at a 40 stall um, Giga Hub right outside of O'Hare. So um, four thumbs up, uh, good fun stop. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, I will definitely come back when I'm traveling this way again. The car says it's at 100%, but uh, we're still pulling we're up over to 55 kilowatts that we've gotten uh, from this station. And we've been here for over an hour now uh, as I've done some videos and, and, and such. So um, yeah, definitely um, an interesting stop here today for one cent per kilowatt hour. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it, but you can see the landing lights for uh, O'Hare over there. Um, that is how close we are to, uh, to the airport. So for one cent per kilowatt hour, I don't really want to stop this. Like I want it to finally kick me off here. I'm not sure that I want to stop it myself, but uh, we do need to get back towards home. 56 cents. I've paid more than that for a single kilowatt hour. All right. End of the session. End of the session. Good stuff. Thank you, BP Pulse, because this was a, a great charge uh, and a fun experience. So we will see you at the next charge. Hopefully another Giga Hub.